Thank you. As we've been mentioning, it is the first day of school for several green country schools. As the Delta variant cases are on the rise, teachers and students are gearing up to return to the classroom this morning. Two News Oklahoma reporter Brady Halbleib joins us live from Union Public Schools with how districts are preparing for its students. Brady? Hey, good morning, Julie. Yeah, districts say safety is their number one priority. In just a few hours, this parking lot here at Union Public Schools will be flooded with students starting their first day of fall semester. Some of them will be wearing masks, while others will not be. And like we've reported in the past, Senate Bill 658 prohibits school districts from mandating masks without an emergency order from the governor. Governor Kevin Stitt said last month he has no plans on doing that, so it'll be left up to parents and students to decide. Now, here at Public School, um, you. Union Public Schools quarantining will also be left up to parents if their child has been exposed to someone with COVID-19. That decision comes after a stalemate in the boardroom last week. It took two meetings for the district to finalize its quarantine policy in their return to learn plan. They say their decision was made to help keep students in the classroom as much as possible. Now you can find all of the school districts and their return to learn plans on our website kjrh.com and coming up in our next half hour, I'll tell you how Broken Arrow Public Schools will be returning to the classroom and how they plan to keep their students safe as well. For now, live in Tulsa, Brady Halb Live, 2 News, Oklahoma.